Is it incompetent, lying, or both when it comes to Canada's failing passport system? Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist with the Toronto Sun. We've seen the long lineups at Canadian passport offices across the country. We've heard of horror stories of people mailing in their application for their own passport or that of a child and finding out that seven months later, they still don't have a passport. We've probably spoke to someone or have someone in our own family that's had to deal with this disaster. Well, this week, Minister Karina Gold put out a statement saying that, look, we understand that these wait times are unacceptable, but you have to understand there's been a surge in passport applications. Turns out that since April 1st, 542,000 Canadians have applied for their passport. And well, don't you know they're working really hard at this? Here's the problem. That so-called surge that the minister is talking about is a little over half of what the passport office used to process pre-pandemic. That's right. They used to handle about 96,000 passport applications per week, and they had good service times. Now it's 54,000 a week, and they can't get them out the door. People are waiting and rushing. The long lineups are happening, not because people left it to the last minute, but because often they're being told, look, if you need to travel, you have to get in line because we can't get the passport to you soon enough. I spoke to one gentleman outside the Toronto passport office who had gone through the regular application process, was told that they would mail him his passport by the end of August, but he's traveling at the beginning of August. He had to go stand in line and hope that, you know, beyond hope that he would actually get through a system that has seen people wait for four, five, six hours before being told that, guess what? you're not getting in. Minister Gould is not handling this well. This has been a problem that has been festering since April, and she's only starting to look at it and address it now. It's time for the more than 70% of Service Canada employees working at home to get back in the office, to start working the way the Canadians lining up for the passport would like to if they didn't have to take a day off work to get in line to get something that the government should be able to handle. This is just the latest example of incompetence in the Trudeau government, a government that doesn't seem to work on any level. Let me know what you think. Share your stories with us. Drop a comment down below. Share this on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.